So yeah, we shall really start walking downstream. Oh, fish on. What we got here? Our first catch of the day. Wow, a beautiful red breast sunfish that is very unfortunately very malnourished i don't know if you guys can see or not but just by the bone plates of this fish all right it's lacking a lot of meat meaning that the crumb creek oh man can be a place that doesn't have a lot of food available for these fish but uh let's take a photo and release this guy first fish of the day as expected first fish of the day red breast sunfish Lepomis auditus, very malnourished here from the Crumb Creek. Truth be told, you know, I'm not really uh, surprised that we have this species of fish here inside the little Crumb Creek. After all, the red breast sunfish, you know, is a very well known species to be in and around all creeks and runs and brooks, you know, in and around Philadelphia. But the fact that this fish was malnourished is a really bad sign. It means that the ecosystem here in the Crumb Creek could possibly be very bad. So, you know, when a creek lacks shiners or just the very small microorganisms that a fish needs to eat, they get malnourished. Let's hope this is not the case. You know, we're going to keep wading this creek and hopefully there are plenty of different species of fish in this area. Stay tuned, fellas. Fish on, on the spinner. What is that? On the spinner. What we got here? Second species of the day. Oh wow! There we go. So we know now that the Crumb Creek at least has some largemouth or a spotted bass on the Johnson man. Let's see. This is a largemouth or is this a spotted bass? This is a largemouth. There you go. Largemouth. Large mouth bass, very dark large mouth bass, is species number two here from the Crumb Creek. Not bad, nice, let's take a photo. Final view of our little large mouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides here for, from the Crumb Creek. Very healthy fish, at least this one. I'm not going down there because it's full of mud, so I'm just gonna throw this fish back. It's gonna be fine, don't worry about it. This height, you know, is not gonna damage it or anything. It's very muddy down there, which is why for now, I'm fishing from the bank. You know, I gotta be throwing a spinner around, see what else I can catch, we'll see. Oh, fish on, what we got here? Oh, little red breast, sunfish. They got a beautiful color from this Crumb Creek, but uh, you know, we already got this little fella. Go back where we belong. Fish on. What we got? Oh, little largemouth bass. Catching all the, we are catching all the small but good stuff here, huh? Red breast sunfish and large mouth bass and huh? that's what the crumb creek is all about so far bye oh fish on oh boy well at least it hit the johnson a very uh cute little fella let's check large mouth or uh spot it large mouth doesn't have the tooth tooth patch ah oh, there we go little large mouth bass from the crumb creek hit on the spinner pretty nice we need some other species though quick update fellas i'm still here at crumb creek i found i finally found a little productive spot at crumb creek here there's a little dam here that you know hopefully will hold some fish right i mean come on there's gotta be a fish around here right so far it's been a tough morning as you guys saw i caught a few red breast sunfish a few small large mouth bass and that's it i started the day wading the crumb creek and after 15 minutes of waiting not even 15 10 minutes of waiting i just came to my <laughs> to my own conclusions that this is not a good place to wade okay so if you ha if you ever come here to crumb creek 
at this portion where I am at, close to Swarthmore College, do not wade the creek. Man, at a certain point, you know, my, I, I sunk down like all the way up to my knee in sinking mud, you know. That's when I knew we got to fish for shore today. Mm-mm. No wading here. Too dangerous, you know. So anyways, let me put some night crawlers on and see what's under this little dam here. Let's catch it. Whoa, what do we got here? Is this a different species? What is this? This looks very weird. Whoa, whoa, wait a moment. Folks, what, what have we caught here? I'm having a little bit of trouble identifying this, but I think this is a pumpkin seed. I think this is a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. I'm pretty sure, yeah, pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. Wow, what a beauty, you know? Well, at least we know there's something decent out of this place. Well, well, at least we got something very interesting out of this place. All right, I'm pretty sure this is a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid. You know, it, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Over there, over there. <laughs> it's certainly a beautiful fish. Whoa, what is... Whoa, wait a moment. What? Suddenly... A little smallmouth bass comes to play here at the little Crumb Creek. Check that out. Wow. Another species for the day, although micro, but still, you know, nice to see one of these around. Good stuff. Well, considering how dead this place was, you know, at the beginning, I must say that I am utterly surprised to see that we hit four species of fish today here at the Crumb Creek, you know. Whoa, 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 all right, he was ready to go. Oh yeah, what we got here? Oh, our first fish ever from Dick's Run, a Crick Chub. Yeah, believe it or not, folks, the name of this place here, tributary of the Crumb Creek, is called the Dick's Run, all right? So there you go, a Crick Chub from Dick's Run. All right, so just like all the other brooks and runs and creeks around the area, there are creek chub in this place. Beautiful. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, what well, we got here. This looks a little bit different. What is this? Whoa, what the heck? Wow, this is a rarity for sure. Here at Dick's Run, all right? Dick's Run, tributary of the Crumb Creek, we caught a micro smallmouth bass. Check this out. And a beautiful one at that too. Oh, this one deserves a photo. My new PB, all right, for the smallest smallmouth bass that I have ever caught in my life. Proud to say that because this is a beauty here at Dick's Run. Check this out. Beautiful colors. And it really makes you wonder, you know, like, in this little ditch here, right, where did this fish come from? This is the question. Whoa, what we got here? Damn, son. Damn, son. Check this out. We caught the biggest creek chub from here. Hands down. We caught here the biggest creek chub from this little run here. Hands down. Check that out beautiful sample all right biggest of this place mm, let me take a photo this is probably <laughs> the biggest fish in this little ditch folks you know i mean not that this little dish can support many different species of fish anyways you know check this out huh check the size of this creek chub this is a nice creek chub all right beautiful bait for flyhead catfish but more than that it's a beautiful fish it's a nice creek chub Definitely a very enjoyable experience here at uh, Dick's Run. And seriously, right? Couldn't they have given a better name to this place? I mean, come on, Dick's Run? It just sounds weird. But anyways, very good experience here at Dick's Run. You know, we ended up catching the Crick Chub. 
and my smallest ever is small mouth bass, you know? And this is to show you guys, right? Never be afraid of wetting your line, as I always say, in the weirdest places ever. One small ditch back there, you know? And there you go, we caught a few fish. Back to the Crumb Creek, we're gonna grind a little bit more. And you know, whatever we catch, we catch. If we don't, we call it a day. Let's do it. What we got here? Whoa, we, have, we, it, we haven't caught this one yet, son. What is this? Whoa, very shiny. Is this new for me? Very, very shiny. Have I caught this before? What is this? This is not a creek chub. But it lo looks like a small fall fish though. Wow, I actually don't know. Is this a creek chub? I don't know. Doesn't look like a creek. No, it's not a creek chub. What is this? Well, it could be a creek chub. L let me take a photo. Let me take a photo where I identify it later. I think it's a creek chub. Beautiful, beautiful little fella. Okay. Time to time to let it go. Hmm. Very beautiful. I don't know. It doesn't quite look like a like a creek chub, but uh, we will see. We will see. Here, go back, son. All right. 